All right, so you have been trying to transfer some BTC to your actual wallet, to your private wallet, or some money, some USD to your private wallet, and you can't find any way possible to do it because they don't let you, because it's locked, because of whatever reason. I know because I have been there. Uh, actually, I bought some uh, Safe Moon today after a whole week just struggling. So I know everything that you have been through. I also know the process of how you can buy these coins. So you just need to hear me out, uh, listen step by step to what I said, and you'll be able to buy it. So I'm going to mention two steps, uh, two ways for you to be able to buy it. One with a Binance account, Binance.us. If you don't have an account, don't even bother with this one because the verification process for Binance is very, very long. It takes like a month. So if you don't have an account with Binance, just go to uh, option two. Now, let's assume that you have a Binance account. What you want to do is you're going to buy some BNB. And then after that, you're going to have to wait 10 days. Unfortunately, this is how it is. You have to wait 10 days. That's what I had to do. Actually, I did something else, but I'll tell you later in the video. So you wait 10 days. And then after that, you're going to click on withdraw. And then you're going to, of course, download another app, which is called Trust Wallet. And in Trust Wallet, you're going to look for, you can come here to this icon on the top right corner. And you're going to click, it's like a settings bottom, and then search there for BNB. It's going to be the very first one that you see there. Not the second one, but the first one. So just add it there and then look it up here. So click it and then you're going to click on receive and that's going to give you an address so you can send your coins. So copy that address and then you're going to on the Binance app, Binance.us, you're going to click on withdraw and there you're going to put your safe wallet. So you don't have to put any memo or anything. Just click on, on send. All right. So you bought some coins in Binance. You transfer it to your trust wallet. Of course, you waited the 10 days to be able to transfer it. Now, the next step is to go to your trust wallet. Then on the bottom menu, you're going to click on the DX. And there you go where it says you pay. You're going to put uh, BNB. Uh, just BNB. This one here. And then on the second one you get, you're going to put BNB again, and you're going to select the smart chain. So now you're going to put here on, on that thing, you're going to put, let's say, uh, 100%. I don't have any right now, but you know, you put whatever you have, and then you click on swap. Now those coins are going to be transferred to BNB smart chain. And now from here, you have two more options. You can either uh, transfer it to another wallet, I use MetaMask, so you would transfer those smart chain coins to your MetaMask. Of course, you have to add the network there. It's a little more advanced, but for now, we're just going to do it with uh, with this app, with, uh, how's it called, with the Trust Wallet. So what you want to do is add the browser to your Trust Wallet. In order to do this, you have to go to Safari, and here you're going to uh, go to this web address. It's called Trust. This one right here. Trust browser enable, and you're gonna put that in your uh, in your top bar. Paste and then go. And it's gonna ask you open this page in Trust. You're gonna click on open. And what it's gonna do is it's going to add this tab to your app. Of course, I'm going to leave this link in the description so you can go to Safari or your, if you're using Android to uh, Chrome, I guess, uh, what you're using there. So once you're here, what you want to do is search for pancake swap, and then you're going to click it. And uh, for the next time, it's going to be here on top. Once you're in pancake swap, you're going to uh, connect your, your wallet on the top here. So once you connect that, you're going to select here the coin BNB is hopefully selected already. And then you can click in max here, or you can type whichever amount of coins you want. Next up, you're going to click on the currency and you're going to type save moon. You're going to select that one. 
And now you may see some errors. Uh, for example, I had to put this Libridge tolerance to 15, which is a lot. Um, you can leave it at 11, or of course you can put it at less. However, you may have some errors. The more slippage, the more gas fee you're gonna pay. But in Binance, it's very cheap. The most you're gonna pay is like two dollars. But uh, I ended up paying cents. So that's how you do it with this app. If you guys want me to do another video doing it with MetaMask, uh, let me know in the comments. All right, so that was option one. Uh, going to Binance and then just transferring Stripe from there. The second option for you to do this would be to get your currency in another exchange. For example, this is how I did it. All right, option two would be for you to have some coins in another exchange. So hopefully you were as lucky as me to have some uh, coins already placed in another exchange. So you didn't have to wait for the 10 days of Binance. You have to wait then you know you have to wait but uh what i had was some coins in another exchange in voyager so i transferred uh the us dollars in voyager to usdc and then i transferred those usdc to binance and then from binance i transferred the usdc to bnb this bnb i transfer them to trust wallet and then from trust wallet i bought uh the safe moon with the same method that i show you in the first step so if you want to see how i bought the um the safe moon go to the first option to the first option i show you step by step how i bought it so the main goal here is to get your uh coins to uh binance so you can actually get them out of there because the main problem is there is just uh actually getting your coins out of binance because it takes 10 days all right the other way that i'm coming up with is buying it directly from trust wallet which i do not recommend because one fees you're going to be paying a lot of fees and two you're going to be putting a lot of your personal information to an outside company a third-party company which is very likely to sell all your information to another third party company, which would be a fourth party company. And then they will do the same, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't want your whole information to be rolling around the internet. So I don't recommend this option. Honestly, the option that I recommend is Binance. Just go straight for Binance, buy the BNB there, and then just transfer it to Trust Wallet. If you decide to sign up with uh, Binance, I'm going to leave the link down below with the referral code so you can get some crypto for free. Guys, if you were able to buy SafeMoon, please subscribe to the channel. That's a way for you to thank me. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next video. Bye.